Good day to the doers of this world. Today I will teach you how to create shipping labels for your Amazon products in the Seller Central. On this channel I share many juicy Amazon business secrets. Like last week I shared tips on negotiating the best price with suppliers in order to get a bigger profit margin. Feel free to watch that video, the link will be down below. So shipping labels are required for organizing shipments. Shipping labels is placed on the box of the products and gives the information of the items in the cartons, the purchaser of the goods and the delivery location. Amazon shipping labels also holds another big secret. It automatically categorizes your products and knows where to distribute your items so they will be live and in stock immediately after being dropped off by the courier. So let me show you how to create these labels. Step 1 we have to get the products we need shipping labels for in the Seller Central dashboard. For that, we only have to go to the Inventory tab and click on Manage Inventory. After this, in order to create our new shipment, we have to click on Send Replenish Inventory for our desired product. Step 2. We shall click Create New Shipping Plan followed by clicking on Case Packed Products. Click Continue to Shipping Plan. Step 3. You cannot go past the step if you do not have the packing list from your product supplier. You could ask your supplier to give you all the information needed. Before completing the step, we should make sure that the product's back end is impeccable. You know, especially the things like the weight and dimension spot. Because if they're not, you'll be asked to fill them again from here and the entire process will stop. After making sure everything is okay in the back end, you should input the number of cases or cartons and the number of units per case. Then click on continue. Step 4. Click on merchant. Then click on continue. Step 5 is to click approve shipments. Step 6. If sent via AXPRESS, it's usually a small partial delivery and should go with one of the Amazon partner carriers. In this case, UPS would be the best and cheapest. If sent via Seafright, you should choose LTL and other carrier. Step 7. You should choose multiple boxes, web form, configure shipment contents just as you did in Step 3. Then click on Confirm. Step 8. Click on Generate Box Labels. If you have more SKUs or product variations in the shipment, to make it easier for your supplier, you should split the PDF uh, that you receive from Amazon in such a way that each part of the PDF you send that only has one SKU. If you don't, you risk your supplier mislabeling your cartons and uh, then Amazon would receive boxes with false information. If that happens, disaster strikes. Your customers could receive a black watch instead of a white one. With a single AZ claim from this customer, your account would be closed for good. Deliver these shipping labels to your supplier and to your forwarder. Make sure to tell the inspector to check that the shipping labels that are in accordance with the products that are inside the carton. Also make sure to tell the supplier to stick the label on the side of the carton, not on the bottom or the top of the carton. You don't have to click on complete shipment. Press it only after you have set everything correctly because after that you can no longer edit it. Please make sure no carton is bigger than 50 pounds. Amazon will fine you for each carton. I trust you have found tons of value in this video. If you did, please leave a like as uh, that would encourage me to share even more secrets of building a successful Amazon business with you all. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. See you at the top.